Woo! Brother! Yeah, that ain't supposed to be like that. There it goes! Howdy, folks. Welcome to the PNW Vibe YouTube channel. We are here retrieving the tires off of my brother's Suburban, where he rolled it yesterday. So, uh... We came down here real quick. The roads are pretty slick. We just had a pretty bad ice storm. And uh, the roads are pretty slick. So we came back that he rolled it yesterday trying to make it up this hill. You can't tell on camera, but this is a pretty bad hill. So uh, he, you know, slid sideways down this hill right here, dropped down to the ditch right there, and then she flipped over. So he's coming to grab his tires, steal them himself before anyone else can steal them. And then uh, we're going to come back here either tomorrow or the next day. We're going to get this thing rolled back over. So, uh, tow company wants two grand to flip this puppy back over. But screw that, brother. We have the technology to do it ourselves. So, we'll get this thing back up on its wheels. All right. We'll be back here in a little bit. All right. We're getting the wheels button back up. Put back on this, back on this capsized vehicle here. So, then we're going to make an attempt at flipping it back over. It's in a little bit of a precarious situation here. So... We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna throw some tires down here, see if we can't cushion this thing when we flip it back over. Watch out. Bro, watch the mirror, dude. Big winch. Just hook onto this bar, pull it right off first, <laughs> and then we. <laughs> see, it's boxed. The frame's fucking boxed. I have a set of chains, too. that line. Be careful of the birds, Basim. You hear that? <laughs> What's that, Vince? Don't be up on top of the thing while we're trying to flip it. <laughs> you want to gun it? So I can stand back and record? All right. There she goes. Oh, I'm a pin, bro. <laughs> slack so he can hopefully your tires don't pop we're about to find out they're good it's not gonna pop now there it goes yeah buddy Door's a little bit dented, but. Can you give me a little slack? Yeah. Uh. You ready? Yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie. That worked a hell of a lot better than I thought it would. She's she's flexed out a little bit there. Yeah. Oh, he ain't getting out like that. We're gonna have to. We're probably gonna try to put it in neutral and then pull it over into that turnout up there. That door open. Climbing from the other side. Well, we're gonna have to get it in neutral. I think we need to put it, you need to pull the truck up and we'll pull it out and try to get it in that turnout. All right, we're gonna try to put this baby in neutral, pull it back out onto the road, get into this turnout right over here so that we can come back for it a little later. Boy, she's stanced up, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> get in there, pussy. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Muscle, where'd that strap go? 
Ah, uh, you fucking threw it on the ground over here. Don't get krilled. In the fucking sketchiest of positions here. This thing welded to the frame the same? That bumper welded to the frame? Strong enough to pull on? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see through that windshield very well. No, we'll have to we're gonna have to bust off. it out the rest of the way if we're gonna flat tow it. You're not gonna be able to get a tow truck because it's uh, tags expired. You're gonna have to be in there to get on the brake so that thing doesn't roll backwards into the truck. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, your tires aren't spinning, Basim. You're in neutral. Okay. Hey. Hey. Whoa. 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 He's in. He's in gear. Put the transfer case in neutral. Okay, then put it in two. Okay, are you in neutral now? Okay, he thinks he's in neutral now. Okay, yep. That'll be good, now we just need to get you in that turnout. Just keep coming off the brake, all the way back. Yep, 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 yep. Till it gets flat. That's good. Yeah, you got gear oil in here. From the tranny. From the uh, from the differential. Damn. So your differential is going to be empty. So that means I can't move at all, probably, or not four or anything. Trying to start it up, see. <laughs> I wouldn't yet. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a mess. Yeah, I don't got no oil in it. You got no oil in it? Nah. I don't remember this engine looking quite like this, dude. Did you take off a bunch of covers? It smells like gear oil in here, too. I have to get some kind of jack in there and jack that, jack that roof back up if you're ever going to try to get a windshield back on there. Or just do a plexiglass windshield. This guy get a new truck? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I tried that. That's kind of a bitch. I'm not worried about getting it or anything. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna drive it with it. You know, in like there, that. yeah, no way. Right, Bust that shit out of there. Yeah. Lean your seat back on there. Get all this glass out of my. With seat. your hat that you're about to put back on your head. That's smart. <laughs> Close your eyes. Well, open them as wide as you can. That's usually the idea. Yeah. Squint. Safety squints. Safety squints. <laughs> Engage safety squints. Oh yeah, get that out of there. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> I have them, we just want to know. That was <laughs> Gracefully. I would have done it over where I need to see out of it, but... Oh, probably smarter. I was just over here, you know, and you gave me a hammer. I wanted to do something. Don't <laughs> <laughs> let any of that piece of glass fly in your eye, dude. You'd be sorry. I know. It's probably going to happen anyways. You might have knew your glass is fucking bulletproof. Got down your shirt and shit. Put your hood on. Put your hood on. <laughs> Don't fucking tell me how to live my life. <laughs> you go down your neck, dum dumb. It's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, don't hit yourself in the head with that either while you're... You're no gazelle with that hammer. Alrighty, we're about to pull around the corner here to the site where the truck was rolled. Alright, so here's the deal. We gotta get this oil changed because it's probably mixed with coolant. What? Then we gotta top off okay. all the fluids. You know, we gotta top off the coolant and the oil and the... Uh, Transmission fluid, probably the differentials, because I'm sure a bunch of diff fluid leaked out of the uh, out of the differential vents. 
while it was upside down for like 48 hours. Do you want my handsaw? That'll probably help. Okay. How do ambulances do it? <laughs> What's that? How do the police do it or whatever? That's working good, huh? Mm -hmm. Don't cut through that wire for the windshield. Or for the... Yeah. yeah. Cut towards myself, right? That's how you're supposed to do it? Yeah, you're always supposed to cut towards yourself. This was a good idea, Faisal. The saw? Yeah. It's, it's working, working great. really fucking well. Like butter, dude. It's not a wood saw, brother. That's a glass saw. You know what, dude? I pulled that thing out of a pond and restored it. You said what? I pulled that thing out of a pond and cleared all the rust off of it. The thing was at the bottom of a pond, and I was down there working on a pump. And uh, I saw that thing, and I reached down there and grabbed it. If they have a pond, why do they need a pump? Here it is, coming to clutch. Well, you gotta get the water out of the pond. By the way, folks, by restored it, he means he means throw up some electrical tape. Yeah, on that means brush. I wrap electrical tape around the handle. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. It's not look too bad. You, you don't want to sniff my finger? No, I'm okay, buddy. Oh, okay. I saw you. You enjoy it. <laughs> Yum. I'm gonna lick it, but mom told me not to do that. She told you that's not a good idea for you to do anymore? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's down to the cold, Phil. I think you're good. It's burned. Why, why would it smell burned? Well, it's old. How many miles do you have on this thing? A lot. Yeah. 230 almost. I That's think. why it smells burned. Have you ever replaced it? <sighs> Now's a good time. I can also just take it's oil. it out, short drive. I don't think glass like this would be all that bad. Well, I... No, I would go ahead and take... I'd leave that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's got yuckies on it. On what? On the drain plug, is that metal? It's got metal on it. Yeah, that's not totally abnormal. How big big chunks or oh, just little shards? Look, it's on the bolt. Just little bitties. Oh fuck, I dropped it. That probably isn't gonna help. It was also sitting in the drain pan, so it could have been from a different vehicle, but. I mean, not a great yeah, thing. Yeah, well that's not too bad. You definitely don't ever want metal in there, but. It could have been from anything else also. Yeah. Does it it's look, not too bad. I mean, you definitely don't want metal in there, but... Does it look oily? Could be a lot worse. Does it look oily? Yes, it looks oily. Okay, just making sure. 230? It's quite a bit. 230? It's a quarter oh. of a million miles. You said what? It's a quarter of a million miles. Got 20,000 to go, sir. And I might even be wrong about the 230. You can check if you want. That's tight enough. How many quarters does she take? Um, I bought six. It takes like five and a half or something. I'm not 100% sure. I always put six in there. Oh shit, I should probably put some in this oil filter, huh? Uh-uh. It'll be okay. Cause we're gonna crank the starter. Ah, pretty sure the filter's tight enough. Filters don't really need to be all that tight. Do that? No, just about hand tight. Okay. Go hand tight and then turn it like half turn past that to cinch it down Then that's good. You made sure the old, is the old gasket on the old filter still? Yep. Okay. There's just one around the rim, right? None in the center? Yeah. Got it. Give her a nice big drink of oil. Transmission seems okay, so I'd just do the diff next. Is it this thing? Would it be like where the drive shaft comes in? I got one right here. It's 316, so don't know that. Just crawl over me. Yeah, that's fine. It's just the 316 socket in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then your front diff will have something similar to that. Okay. And we can, uh, so they both take the same kind of fluid? Yep. And if they don't, oh well, I'm gonna put the same type of fluid in them. Can you watch that for me? Yeah. Can you move your head out of the way a little bit? There you go. Oh, there it goes. Yep, there you go. Here, I'll grab this. Here you go. Here, never, I'll come around the other side. Here. I'll pull the hose. You. Did you get some in your mouth? No, I turned away quick enough. It's been a series of near misses today. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call rolling the truck over in here. That's a hit. Okay, I'm gonna add some water to this here radiator. All right, so all the fluids have officially been serviced on this truck. Now all that's left to do is he's gonna pull the spark plugs out and we're gonna crank the starter, rotate the engine a couple times, try to blow any water that may be in the cylinders out. 
We don't know if there is any water in the cylinders, but it's a safe thing to do because it sucked to do all this, try to spark it up, have water in the cylinders, hydro lock it and bend a rod, you know, that'd be a bad day. So we're thinking if we, as long as we service all the fluids, get all the water out of the cylinders, there should be nothing preventing this engine from running just fine. So let's do it. Let's get these spark plugs out. They all look pretty good so far. All right, got all four out on that side, passenger side. Now time for the driver's side. Only the driver's side is going to be more of a pain because of all that crap in the way there. Hopefully you can get to it okay. All right, my boy is going in for the last, for the last plug and then we will crank this bitch over. Glass everywhere. It's gonna be a fun ride back home for him. <laughs> All right. Giving her a go. Go ahead. Keep going until, it's, until it shuts off. It won't. It won't shut off automatically. I have to stop doing it. Okay, then that's fine. Go ahead. That's good. It Everything should have oil around it too, so you should be good to go. Let's put these plugs back in. Let's fire this thing up. This ought to be good, because I looked on YouTube for the procedure to do after a rollover, and Google, I tried to find shit. Yeah, just because as soon as I started to smell that differential, that gear oil under the hood, I knew we needed to do that. So yeah, we can share with the people. We'll share with the people how to, uh, how to start your truck after a rollover. All right, let's see what happens here. Firing her up. Fire it up. Why did it scratch like that? I don't know. Why is it smoking? Should I turn it off? No, keep it going. Just let it warm up and see what happens. I think it's just burning off oh, all the water and stuff that was in there. Got up in there yeah. yeah. All the oil and everything that leaked out is gonna be right puddle on top in the top there. It's just running like a top, baby. It's running weird. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Maybe she's in limp mode. It's definitely misfiring. Check engine lights blinking. Yeah, it's in limp mode, I bet. Shut it off. It says service four wheel drive. No check engine light, but it's definitely still misfiring. One of the spark plugs not tight or something. It almost sounds like bad compression. Hang on. Something's making a tick noise. Hear that click? Click. Chalk the fuck out. Oh, of you. okay. Stop. Turn it off. Figure it out. Okay, I found it. One of them wasn't on all the way. It was arcing on the... Okay, try that again. That probably fixed it. All better. Rev it. There we go. Nice. All right. Damn business. Ready to head home? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Finally got my baby on all fours, eh? All right, let me have that mic out of your chest. We got a 1069 coming up here. We got a 1069. Uh, sir, you know why I pulled you over today? 